So we are going to derive an explicit formula for Euler's totient function phi of n. Now Euler's totient function measures the number of integers between 1 and n that are co-prime to n. And at first it might seem like how would we even get an explicit formula for that kind of function? But there actually is a very interesting closed form. And in order to derive it, we're going to need two important results that I've derived in previous videos. So you can check the links in the description if you aren't familiar with them already. The first is that the phi of some power of a prime number is equal to p to the a minus 1 times p minus 1. And the second identity is that phi of a times b equals 5a times 5b if the greatest common divisor of a and b equals 1. In other words, if they are co-prime. Now in order to do the general formula, we're going to look at some integer that's not necessarily a prime number or a prime power. But by the fundamental theorem of arithmetic, we still have some information about n. In particular, we know that n has to have some prime factorization. And it's going to look like p1 to the power of a1 times p2 to the power of a2 times p3 to the power of a3 and so on. And what this is saying is we're looking at some number of distinct prime numbers and each of them is raised to a particular power. For example, 24 is equal to 2 cubed times 3 to the first power. So that is the prime factorization. Now from here, notice that each of these factors here, p1 to the a1, p2 to the a2, and so on, they're all powers of one prime number, which means that all of their factors are all powers of that prime number. The only factor of p1 to the a1 is p1. And similarly, the only factor of the second part is p2. What that means is that because these primes are distinct, each of these factors is co-prime to the other factors. If this is 2 to some power, and the second part is 3 to some power, those aren't going to share any common factors because they're both prime. What that means is we can split up phi of n using this second rule. We know that each of the prime powers is co-prime to the other ones. So phi of n is equal to phi of p1 to the a1 times phi of p2 to the a2, and so on. We multiply the phi of each of these different factors. That product is going to give us the original totient function. But we know how to do the totient function of a power of a prime number. For example, if we're looking at p1 to the power of a1, that's going to be p1 to the a1 minus 1 times p1 minus 1. Now before we go through all the rest of the factors, I'm going to do a little bit of simplifying on this right here. If we pull out another factor of p1 from this inside expression, then on the outside we'll have p1 to the a1, and then times, if we take out one factor of p1, p1 over p1 is going to be 1, and then we have minus 1 over p1. So phi of p1 to the a1 is p1 to the a1 times 1 minus 1 over p1. If we look at p2 to the a2, it's going to be the same thing. We're going to multiply by p2 to the a2 times 1 minus 1 over p2. And if we had p3 to the a3, it would be the same thing over and over and over again for all of those prime powers. Now we can actually simplify this a little bit. Because notice that we have p1 to the a1 times p2 to the a2, and then after that we would have p3 to the a3, and so on. We're going to have all of these prime factors. And all of those prime factors together make up the prime factorization for n. So when we multiply them together, we're going to get n as our result. So if we take out each of these prime powers and put it at the front, what we're going to get is phi of n equals all of those multiplied together is n times 1 minus 1 over p1 times 1 minus 1 over p2 and so on. 
And this is our closed form, the explicit formula for Euler's totient function. So let's look at an example. Like we were doing before, let's say we pick n equals 24. Phi of 24. We know that 24 is equal to 2 cubed times 3. In this formula, notice we don't really care what the power of the prime number is. We just have to know what prime factors there are. In the case of 24, that's 2 and 3. So what we're going to get as our result is n, which is 24, times 1 minus first prime factor is 2. So we have 1 over 2. Then second prime factor is 3, 1 minus 1 over 3. Those are the only prime factors, so this is the totient function of 24. And if we do this out, this first part here is going to be 1 half. This second part is going to be 2 thirds. And when we do 24 times 1 half times 2 thirds, we get 8. So the number of integers between 1 and 24 that are relatively prime to 24 is 8. So that is the explicit formula for the Euler's totient function. The way that we arrive at that formula is using the fact that we can split up the totient function into each of the prime powers. And we know the closed form for the prime powers. It's just p1 to the a1 times 1 minus 1 over p1. When we multiply all of those together, we can bring out all the prime powers to get a factor of n in the front. And all that's left is this product of 1 minus 1 over the prime factors.